After barrel, someone decided that the best way to get a message to center point is to paint it on the side of the highway in graffiti, and it's catching a lot of attention as more as of right now, more than 1.1 million customers still don't have their power in their homes. KPRC 2's Rochelle Turner is live near I-10 and Sawyer Street to show us what that message is for them. What is it, Rochelle? Haley, good morning to you. Take a look. It says center pointless and someone was brave enough to cross this busy highway and paint that message. Now we're on day four and a lot of people are hoping the lights will come back on today. This morning we spoke to the senior vice president of operations for center point and asked him, hey, when is the power going to be restored? We know there's a lot of questions with the different maps they have released. So this is what he told us. Nothing that, you know, we want to share yet. We really want to get through this damage assessment phase, which is, you know, where we're out walking all of the lines and, and looking at all the damage so that we can fully assess that, set proper expectations for all of our customers. Uh, we do expect to make tremendous progress as we shared last night uh, by the time we get to this weekend, but also do want to set proper expectations for those that may see longer outages due to just the extreme damage that, that we've seen out there on the lines. So that may not be the response that you wanted to hear, but we are asking Centerpoint those tough questions anytime we get the opportunity to speak with them. The company expects to have power restored to 400,000 customers by tomorrow, 350,000 by the end of Sunday. And Haley, that means that an additional 400,000 people will have to wait until next weekend. I've been listening to Justin's forecast and we're talking triple digit temperatures as well as maybe some pop up showers throughout this weekend. So that is going to be a bad combination for a lot of people who are still looking for gas. They're still looking for food. They're not able to get those hotels because they're so expensive or they're already booked. However, Center Point tells us that they plan to release a better timeline today on the restoration process. So we'll be able to know exactly how many people will be restored today and maybe a better time tomorrow on when power will be restored. We know that they met their goal yesterday of restoring power to 1 million customers. But it's a challenging, it's long, it's frustrating. We've seen everybody on social media. People have been reaching out to us uh, through our Facebook pages about when the power will be restored. And they're not happy with how Centerpoint handled this situation. They feel like they waited too late to send those 12,000 additional workers to yeah, the state. Sure. And so right now, Centerpoint is trying to get on track and, and get everything right. But yeah. it's, you well, know, we're looking a lot so, of angry and frustrated people. Yeah, we're looking forward to the predictions that they have, because for those of us like myself who are still without power, we're wondering, are we in the group that's today or are we in the group that's next week? And so just a little bit of, you know, information on that would be helpful with uh, us having so much patience. Thanks, Rochelle.